Hello and good day to you wherever you're watching from. This is another video on Alki Card with Frank. In today's video, I have a request again from engineer CC from Gambia and he requested to learn how to do double gables like this a roof system that has one gable protruding out and another coming out even further outwards he is trying to do it on Akikad and what he has looks somewhat like this and it's not really working out if you want to be able to make personal requests to me for videos I could make like this in response to issues you might be facing on Akikad I'm going to attach a link in the description of this video or in the comments most likely in the description I'm going to attach a link where you could join a community of Akikad users in a place where we make requests like this and we're able to help each other out feel free to check it out and at least a lot of really interesting things have been going on there recently and i feel it's going to be beneficial to anyone who comes in so directly into today's video i want to begin with just this rough sketch i think i could just add this i made this just for this tutorial i'm currently working on something else as it stands so um what you need to do first of all is roof the building so from the image you attached i can tell that your roof pitch is going to be some 30 ish degree something around that so 30 of course you're working with the um what's it called the multiplane roof so you're just going to since we have this polygonal geometry here you are going to try to draw the roof just around that geometry okay uh, i observed okay i thought i was a bit off but it seems i was not okay so the next thing you want to do please create an elevation marker just mm -hmm. to face there in case you do not have one already as i said i'm working on a different project so my elevation markers are positioned elsewhere at the moment so right here uh yeah i think we could do something like this and observe that it has a default offset of 800 i'm going to change that to zero and manually offset it this is not really all that important but it's something i prefer to do it's just personal practice it's just my personal way of using archicad so you go check this out on the 3d and you have something like this and i can tell for sure this is not what you're trying to achieve so I'm going to first of all raise this up a bit more so that you know the walls do not appear underneath and I'm going to reduce the thickness of this to like 10 millimeters so that I'll be able to eventually add up this white portion we have here the white that has the eaves and the um what are they called again I keep forgetting their names the eaves and the fascia board yeah so I'm going to select this edge and I'm going to click on custom plane settings. Not this one, this one. This is custom edge. I'm interested in custom plane settings. All right, so once I click on this, I'm going to click on gable here. The plane type should be changed to gable. And once I do that, you can see the effect on the 3D that just that face becomes a gable. Okay, then I'm going to click on this edge as well and click on gable and now this face as well becomes a gable and now we have the double gable system you asked about i should end this tutorial here but for those who are watching who might not really know how to go from something like this into something like this i'm going to expand it more as for the doors the windows the columns and the rest those are not my focus for this tutorial if you have requests regarding stuff like that feel free to say it in the comments or join the community and i'll try to respond as quickly as i can so i created a an elevation viewpoint here e01 i would open that to look at this from the front okay now what i'm doing this is as i said i want to add this stuff we have right here so in order for me to do that i'm going to take the morph to come somewhere here draw with this by the way the polygonal um move this by like 300 millimeters take this out by like 600 go up mm, all the way let's just go with like 450 
please when you're working on stuff like this use specific dimensions i'm doing this because this is just a tutorial video i'm just flexing around just walking around freely all right if you're wondering how i got the exact angle of this roof when i was following this line i can stay i want to do the same thing here now i stay somewhere along its path and then i click the q button or i press the q button and then i can see a guideline that goes in that direction if you're using archicad 19 and above this is going to work for you if it's 18 and below i am sorry it is not going to work so i can take this to this point and then start closing it up now i want this to be inside the roof not outside i mean like here all right so after doing this i can click here go over here come right here and finish up and then i have the first one i'm going to switch the display of this to simplify it so like it's going to be easier to visualize now i'm going to do something similar here but the difference is this time i want to use specific measurements so in this case i want this to be exactly five inches that's 125 millimeters approximately away from here and i want something similar going on over here 125 all right so the next thing i also want is to sketch out what i want to do here so i can go down was this done right now here all right go down by 300 okay then go in by 600 go um i can stop here for now take here push and then try to figure out where here meets here all right so now that i have this um that's not what i meant to remove i can remove this 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 come on all of you get out all right so i could just quickly mirror it to the other side as well so i do not have to i can group them first of all so i will not have to go start redoing all of that over there again i'm going to use that point as the center so exactly what i have here i would have here and now i didn't mirror this okay um all right so i can pick them both join them and yeah i think i'm good to go you can just um if you're asking why i cannot remove this line that line is the wall you know the projection of the wall as it shows on the elevation so i could just begin here to this point go again to this point again to this point to this point here please take note of the internal one or this external one to here i missed that to here and here and here and i can close it up it still isn't over because you know we see this stuff there hanging where they shouldn't be so i am going to get back to the plan from what i can see in this image this doesn't seem to be that far away from the wall feels like some 150 200 mm ish distance so i'm going to select the entire roof i'm going to offset just this face inwards okay so it's 600 away so i'm going to move it 400 in so we have 200 left i'm repeating the same thing here and the rest can be just as they were so now i can get back to the 3d view select this morph and then i'm going to use the push pull to give it some thickness in this case 200 mm going to do the same thing to this one 200 mm and i can go on the plan and move them manually from there so this one i am going to drag from this point and land it here this one i'm going to drag from this point and stop it here i can adjust their display settings so that they no longer look like that just show me them projected and they are going to stop showing here they are going only to show on this floor and they are going to show partially all right so that said i hope this has been helpful to anyone that was watching if you're wondering how we can take care of this big hole we have here that's also not difficult the first thing i would want to do is go to the ground floor click on this extend it all the way to this then secondly i select the two walls involved raise them to the next story 
so now what i'm going to have is by the way please the first thing i did was extend this guy this very wall um this wall to get to the end then the second thing i did was set these two to go from first floor here to second floor all right so that's it next thing is i'm going to select both of them i'm going to go to design go to solid elements operations and click on it it brings up this window right here and you can see that both of them have been selected as targets there's two targets there's two elements selected i'm going to deselect them and i'm going to select the roof select it as an operator and i'm going to change this operation from subtraction into subtraction with upward extrusion after doing this i can say execute and now i am finally good to go if you found this useful please leave a like and if you've not subscribed to this channel please do so i look forward to seeing you in the community if you consider joining um why i'm advertising this community is not necessarily like advertisement per se this that i'm doing here is something i do as a hobby it's something i do in my free time i am not really a youtuber i'm not a content creator per se i am just an architect who helps other architects out with videos like this every now and then on the channel i on the community on whatsapp i could respond to your messages faster if there are not things that require even long videos like this if it's something i could just explain over a voice note or a brief call i think you get the point basically I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye for now. Get out of here.